We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina for Big South Media Day, and I'm joined now by Flames senior defensive lineman Nico Davis as we get ready for the start of the season. Get a few of uh, Nico's thoughts here uh, coming in. You know, you got camp coming up in just a few days. Everyone's together here today talking about football. How excited are you to get things going? Oh, man, I couldn't be more excited. It's interesting because every year going into camp, you know, you know, we all love football and we love playing, but everybody knows that camp is a little bit of a drag and it's hot and it's practice every day. But now that it's my last season, I'm more like, well, slow down. Let's not get through camp so fast, you know, because right, yeah. everything I do from this point on is it's the last go round. And um, so, but yeah, I'm very excited. So I know you've been thinking about that a lot this summer and knowing that this is your last chance to shine coming out there. Uh, how much is that going to help you have a good year, you think? Oh, absolutely. I think it'll help a lot. Um, it just kind of changes your mindset. Uh, you don't have another shot, you know, and so you got to work hard as you can now. You have to be here doing everything that you can, leading other guys, uh, being led by your leaders. You got to do all that as best you can right now because you only get one shot. Once the moment passes, the moment is gone. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's helped us a lot. You know, I've been here all summer, or, or rather in uh, Lynchburg, working out at Liberty. And um, so it's been a good summer, and I think, uh, I think we're going to have a good season. When you uh, look at the preseason expectations, Liberty picks second behind Coastal Carolina. Uh, you guys know that you know, you're right there in the mix for a conference championship this year. You've uh, shared it the last couple of years. Uh, what's it going to take for you guys to get over that hurdle and get into the FCS playoffs this year? You know, I think um, Coastal Carolina is a very good football team. You know, I think um, one of the things we want to do uh, is really kind of a threefold thing. We want to um, uh, start fast, uh, finish strong, and get it done. You know, I think a lot of times, you know, we may even win a football game, but we didn't have a very good first quarter. Or uh, we may lose a football game because we didn't finish the second half well. And um, so even just going into this year, we want to start fast, um, you know, keep that pace, finish strong, and then get the job done. And um, that's the one thing that we're really going to focus on and try and do this year as a group and as a unit. You individually got your first career start last year against Coastal Carolina. Uh, this year, you're coming in number one on the depth chart at the defensive end spot with Toby Anichi uh, right there with you rotating. Uh, how do you feel about this season coming in and, and your role on the team? Do you feel like it's expanded? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, I, you know, I've always played defensive end, and uh, it's a great position. But I'm also going to be rotating inside as well, uh, a little bit more at defensive tackle and three technique. And um, once, just like you said, Toby Onichi is an e excellent player, very athletic, very fast, very strong, um, great against the run game, excellent against the pass game. And um, you know, we're just going to have a good uh, defensive line up front. Um, you got a lot of guys coming back. You know, you know, Chima is very, you know excellent pass rusher, is just very instinctive player. Um, and so he'll be leading us on the field as well. And um, it helps having so many guys who've been there, who've played in games. Um, I think that I think we'll have a really good um, defensive line, and we're just looking to get better. And um, you know, even with guys who we've lost from last year, I think the one of the things that they did is um, they helped us to be as good as we can this season. You know, kind of learning from them, sitting behind them, and learning underneath their leadership and where we're going. And I think we can only go up as a defensive line. You think about a guy like Corey Freeman, certainly that's uh, one guy that was uh, definitely a leader on that defensive line. But uh, Chima Uzwehi coming back this year, whom you mentioned, a uh, lot of attention is going to be on him with uh, his ability to rush the passer. How much does that mean that you guys have to step up and, and help him out and also be disruptive? Oh, absolutely. It means uh, we definitely have to step up and also be uh, disruptive alongside of him. You know, Chima, is a, like I said, he's a great player, very instinctive football player, you know, but we're always competing. I mean, we compete off the field. We complete, compete on the field. You know, this whole summer we, you know, been doing workouts, and there's a, a specific workout that we do. It's a, it's a speed type of station thing with our footwork and stuff. And she may not compete every, you know, one week he's first. The next week I'm, you know, first and second, and we go back and forth. But, um, you know, I think the name of the game is competition. Even during the season, you know, he'll be, you know, getting sacks and tackles for a loss, and, and we'll be trying to do the same thing, you know, right alongside him, compete with him, and beat him, you know what I mean? Because if, if, if we do well and try and compete and get better than him and he's doing the same thing, well, look what our defense did as a whole and our defensive line as a whole just competing with each other. So um, I think he's, uh, you know, he's a great leader. He's a leader on and off the field. Um, he's one of our team leaders. Um, um, and so we're really looking for him to do great things and everybody else alongside with him. You look ahead to August 30th, North Carolina. You're going to be on the field in Chapel Hill. How excited are you for your senior season to go out there first game in an ACC environment in front of a big crowd? Oh, absolutely. It's, um, it'll be a hostile environment, you know, but nothing uh, really – most all of our guys have experienced similar situations. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. They're a good football team. They're no slouches, and we understand that. Um, but once again, we're coming into that game with a mindset 
not to you know give them a good game or play well you know but we're coming to win and um, they're a good football team and we got to be hitting on all cylinders in order for us to do that and I think as a defensive line you know just comparing ourselves to their offensive line I think we'll match well um, that once again they're good their interior guys their center their guard and their tackle are, are really good um, defensive players and with myself uh, going down inside that defensive tackle a little bit you know I'm excited to play against those guys and really you know have the opportunity to compete because really all it is it is an opportunity to just compete and you know we love competing with other guys and so it should be good we're excited and the pressure's on those guys as well, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, if they've done a little bit of their homework, they know we're coming. Uh, they know we're excited. They know we're angry. You know, as a defense, that's how we play. They know we're physical. So it so, um, should be an exciting game. All right, should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Nico, appreciate the time, and uh, wish you the best of luck here through fall camp as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, that's uh, Liberty Flames uh, defensive lineman Nico Davis with us here, and we'll have more from Big South Media Day right here on LibertyFlames.com. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, my name is Nick Pierce.